Today we're unboxing Wave 2 of Tainted Grail. I'm Mark Maya, and this is Board Game Coffee. Vincent, get back here this Okay, here we go. You know why I'm excited about this episode? Not only because I get more Tainted Grail, and I love Tainted Grail. Tainted Grail is great. Unlike our last, last second wave unboxing, which was uh, Black Rose Wars, I hadn't uh, even played the first wave. But Tainted Grail, I've played plenty. So looking forward to wave two. Although this makes me want to go back and play wave one. And to be honest, I don't even know what uh, wave two consists of. I'm assuming minis. If there is minis, there's something I'm looking forward to. I got a new toy. It just came in today. Yesterday? Today. It just came in today. You'll see. And it's going to help me showcase the minis. And is it any good? Will this work? I don't know. But if it works, let me know. And, uh... And then I'll uh, continue using it, or I won't continue using it. All right. Also, also I'd like to tell you in advance that if I remember, and I will try my best to remember, uh, we will put links to uh, the different boxes. And not only that, but we're gonna separate it so it's gonna be like, I'm assuming there's multiple boxes in here. I might be completely wrong, but we're gonna separate it in like box, cards, and then minis. So uh, as far as like per box. So that way if you just wanna see the minis or if you wanna see it all, you can just use the links down below and skip right to it. All right, I've talked enough. Let's open her up. Mm, nothing yet, nothing yet. Ah. Ready for the reveal? Ta-da! Mm, I am so excited for this. I love Tainted Grail. I don't know why there's more of these. I'm pretty sure, well, I, I, I can figure out why there's more of these, but I, there's, I'm pretty sure there's like a whole bunch of extras for, uh, that came in wave one. Cause we got them for all kinds of different sizes. We got like biggins, we got tinies, and we got your regulars. So uh, it's just a bunch of sleeves in there. That's good, that's good. Just toss those aside. And you know what? Yeah. Most of the time, as you know from my last unboxing, I don't really know when a second wave is a thing unless it comes up online because I completely forget. I only knew there was a second wave to Tainted Grail um, because of how many plastics came and then I investigated. I was like, why do I need so many sleeves? Why do I need so many sleeves? And that's why I investigated and figured that out. Okay, look at this. Echoes of the past. Oh, yeah. Oh. Tinty Grail is so good. This is one of the few games that I'm unboxing that I know quite a fair, fair about. I know quite a fair bit about. There you go. Look at that here. Oh, that looks nice. Can't wait to get the plastics off these things, like the plastic covers off these. And we got a, a mat. What's the deal with this? Uh, and we got a, an album. Open this whole thing upside down. And we got. It was nicely presented. I had it facing the wrong way. I want to see what this is. Ooh. This is incredibly heavy. This is a really heavy box. Whoa! Um, we're good. We're good. We're good. Never happened. Uh, luckily, it fell on the foam from the insert. Uh... Okay, let's pretend that didn't happen. Oh, man, that disturbed me. I like keeping my things in good shape. Dropping it freaks me out a little bit. All right, let's put this over here. That is such a heavy box to drop. It's so heavy. So, like this box weighs a freaking ton. Um, I'm just gonna drop it really, watch this. I don't know if you can really tell. It's freaking heavy. It's one of the heaviest, if not the heaviest boxes of this size I have ever picked up. It's got a grail on it. Okay, so let's 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 leave. Let's open up the books first. And we go through some 
mats and let's see let's see what we have here um just gotta make some random ones over here there you go okay let's do this all right let's get this plastic off So, Tinder Grail. Have you guys played it? You should. If you haven't, it's great. Some some of the um, some of the best writing or horror writing that uh, is it horror? It's horror. It's freaky. It's horror uh, writing that I've ever experienced in a campaign story. It's so good. It plays good. It looks good. It reads good. But it's hard. Tinder Grail is hard. Okay, so what do we got here? We got our stretch goals. I scratched the box a bit. Okay, it's nice. It's nice and black, I like this grail. You know, could have used more suction, but it was smooth. It was smooth. Didn't catch, no catches, the lid didn't come off. So, you know what, I'm gonna give it a five. Normally I give it a four because of lack of su suction, but it was it was like silky smooth. It came off really nice. Okay. Yeah. Okay, nothing in there. All right, let's just put this on this. I'm switching it up and putting it on this side. It's because usually the junk ends up on the other side. Not the junk, well, you know, never mind. It ends up on the other side and I need room. You'll see why. Okay. So we got some sheets. Some character sheets. Good stuff. Good stuff. Get two of those. Ooh, we got letters. We got new letters for everybody. These oh, are, are these are all new characters. Nice. Nice. Well, I was gonna put oh, one. That's that was the expansion character, wasn't it? Hey, cool. You know what? Let me give you a close-up in case you in case you want to read those letters. If you don't want to, you don't have to worry about spoilers. Just don't read them. I'm just gonna stop them for a second, right? So we can see them. I'm having a hard time flipping these over. Hold on. Let me just. Uh, my hands are absolutely frozen. I can't. Um, I can't put into words how cold it is in this basement. Um, I compare it to the Arctic right now, but I've never been to the Arctic, so I doubt that's the deal. But I am, I am pumped to try some of new characters. I like, I like the old characters just fine. I wonder if we could do some like, I doubt it, but some like massive campaign where you get like 10 characters to go at it. Oh, you take forever for your turn to come around. Now, I don't know about you if you've played Tainted Grail, but I know myself, um, it's a lot of my character taking chances, rolling poorly, falling off a giant sword or falling off a bridge or whatever, or starving. There's always, there's always something terrible happening to my character. And Brittany has to come save me, which was different from when we played the, um, the prototype of Tainted Grail. I was saving her all the time. Well, things have changed. Things have changed. Um, and I'm always dragging the team down. It is always me. I'm always taking the risks. And it should be for things like, I've got, I was playing with a strong character. So like all the strength checks or whatever it is, whatever his checks that he's good at, that I should have been getting, I'd roll like the worst possible thing, like six times in a row. Not an exaggeration. It was freaking ridiculous. I lost so much time, I got trapped in a situation that I could not roll myself out of. Like, I uh, I died. We I died and we had to start over, and uh, that's harsh. That's harsh. Okay, so we have some character cards here. Let's pop these out. Let's pop these out and check it out. There you go. Okay, so let's line these up. Check them out. Oh, these guys are cool, man. I don't want to look at them yet. I 
and experience them with you. There's so many. This is only like what five in the in the core box. I think one of them is actually like an expansion. Ooh, look at her. Pots are set up. Let's look at the. Well, she had double. There's double sides, so let's flip it over to this side, and then we'll look at the other side quickly. Make sure they all. Yeah, there you go. So yeah. See who I want. I'm just based on looks alone. I'm digging her. She's neat. She's creepy. Oh, I like her because she's got a a pet puppy. I like that. All right. Oh, well, he kind of got to. He's giving me a Ronin feel from like Guardians of the Galaxy. Eh, uh, not caring for uh, for this guy. Ooh, I like her. I like her better than the creepy, the creepy one. Ooh, I like him. He looks like the. Uh, have you ever seen the Time Machine? Spoilers, but he looks like the guy he finds in the future. And oh, I like her too. I think I like the girl characters better. The female characters better in this one. Okay, and. Uh, there's the setup for each of them. I'll just go through this quickly. And then you can just do some of that 4K pausing. Excellent. All right, okay. So, <clears throat> oh. let's see what we got going here. Embossed plastic lid, love them. Love them. Oh. And there's a lot of story. I can, I can see why this box was heavy. There's a lot of words. Words are heavy. Okay, can I, I'm trying to, why, I don't want to rip the pages. I know what you're probably saying. <laughs> why not just use your fingers and not a knife? Don't know what to do. Okay, I'm sorry. Tell me what to do, I probably need the assistance. I can't. There. there we go. There you go. Got it. Oh, that is a lot of book. That is a lot of book. Okay, well, we're not going to stop on those pages because that's where all the secrets are. That is heavy. It's a lot of paper. So let's, uh, let's put that over there. And we got more paper. What is that? That's the, okay, so that's the exploration journal. And we got here. So yeah, here. So much stuff. Like, guys, how long did it take you to write all this? That's quite like. Do you have it? Was there a team? Like, this wasn't just one person, right? Because it's a lot of work. Not to mention, this is the wave two. Like, there is so many words in wave one. Okay, there's another exploration journal. Last night, and that one's Age of Legends. The first one was Age of Legends. So these multiple different stories. Oh. Whew. Oh, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. Okay. Okay, we got some minis, we got some cards. Anything underneath? I gotta check. I gotta check. Nope. Nope. Okay. Thought you know those little finger grips there. Fool me. Okay, so we got the minis. Separate those. We'll go through all the cards. There's really no need to separate those. Okay, so we're gonna get down close, look at all the cards. Hey there. So, here's the thing. I had a little mishap with this camera. If you can see in the box, you probably can see from there. I've opened all the cards, all but this pack here. And I went through them all we were talking, trust me, we were having great conversations. But at some point at the beginning, when I was setting up the camera, I bumped into the record button and I just stopped recording. So I was recording nothing. I was looking through my camera and nothing was being recorded. I didn't notice that it was stopped. So here's the thing. I'm loading up on coffee, cause it's late here and uh, I want to get you this unboxing as soon as possible. So here's what we're going to do. 
We're not going to go through every card. We're not going to do a deep dive like we normally do. We will stop and we will use my uh, new presentation method for the minis. That I, I, that's what I'm dying to try that out, see if it works out. And we will go through some cards. We'll look through some of them, but we're basically going to look like a maybe one or two per card type. And then, you know, check out one or two cards from each character. Uh, and that's it. And that's it. We're going to do that for the rest of it. And we're just going to spend our time on the minis and just go through it so I can sleep tonight. Well, finish this edit and then sleep tonight and get this video up in the morning for you guys. I hope I can get it done. I don't know if I can, and, but we will see. Okay, so let's take it from the top, shall we? First, we have these big cards. Look, there's a bunch of big stuff. Now, these cards are your maps. Your, see, they make up your map tiles. And there's a bunch of them. And trust me, I had so many humorous things to say, and there's so many awesome cards that I stopped on, and I said things, and I'm sure you would have loved it. Um, so that's what the front looks like, and there's usually little costs and effects of things that occur when you go to these locations. Like, a, that's a... Sorry, that one's like a town because it's got the little, or a village, whatever it is, it's got little teepees, I believe. And on the other side, then we got our text. So we'll give you an idea of what kind of things you're getting into. I'm really bummed, man. I am really bummed that that happened. And if, you know what, if there's enough, if enough people actually want to see all the cards, I will do another video of just the cards. And, uh, and it's gonna have to be more than like one or two people. But let me know if you wanna see them all and I will go through them at my super speed technique to, um, and then you could just read them to your heart's content. Cause that's what I like doing for you guys. That's what I like doing for you guys. Because I know there's those of you out there that like it. And I'm I'm so upset. I am so upset that that happened. Okay, so now here's your secret cards. The back looks like this. You can tell by secret, it's a dead giveaway. When you see the word secret written on things, you know those are dead giveaways. And uh, just so you know, I'm not repeating any conversations that I had before. I, uh, or conversations, one-way conversations, I guess. Let's so look through a few of the secrets you can expect. Uh, secret number 100, that's a big one. I actually don't know what any of that is. I'm not reading anything. And if there's any spoilers, it's probably here. So, uh, man, just don't read the cards. Just try, to, try not to uh, commit anything to memory. You'll be fine. You'll be good. There you go. So that gives you an idea of kind of secrets you're gonna get. Let's put those away. And you know what? Here's another thing. If this is a preferred method for you guys, let me know that too, and I will do that. But you know what? Or maybe I won't. Maybe I won't. Not, it's not because... Because I know there's those of you out there that like it, and I know we're one of the few channels that go into the deep dive unboxing. So let's see what we have here. We have a bunch of cards here. Let's separate them from the backs. So we got our purple encounter cards. There you go. Okay, so those are the purple ones. There's our white encounter cards. Green. And I'll just give you a look at each one of those so you can know what you're getting into. And there's our combat cards. Okay, so those are the back of the combat cards. And Come on here. It's an encounter card. How'd they get in here? How'd they get over there? Keep in mind, these might be out of order as well because I have gone through these once. But really fast, so I didn't really pay attention to them. Okay, so that's one character. There's one character's card set. I was just showing you a few of them. There's another character's card set. Sloan. It's a big sword. Oh, that's the creepy guy from uh, Time Machine. Great movie. Maybe I want to play as Sloan. I wouldn't mind being the creepy guy. Is her name Fuel? It's 
It's a cool license plate for you if you're like a drag racer. Just Dagon. Dagon. Okay, so those are all those are his cards. And uh, let's put those combat cards away. Here's some purple encounters. Give you an idea of what you're getting into there. Uh, blood thing. Also got uh, oh, ghost of terrified penis. What else we have here? Uh, oh, those that's those that's like those killer hornets that we had. We got like a will of the wisp situation here. I don't know what's going on here. Fur chills. And a horse with creepy hands. Yes, I remember him from the first time I went through this. Okay, our blue encounters. Bam! These are our more, these are our diplomatic encounters, I believe. The ones that have that stuff on the side. And that looks like, like he belongs in a Sandman comic. Give me an idea of some of these because there's so many of them there's so many of them there is no shortage of content if you went with tainted grail wave one and wave two, wave one has got lots of content wave two we're talking like ridiculous amounts of content whoa i missed that crazy man bat thing before i think it's better for me to go through these again so there you go no horrible spoilers actually go back to, how does this guy get in the car What's going on with the top of his head? Okay, those are the white ones. We got some the green ones here. Oh! That's crazy looking. These things are huge. Like, what kind of world is this? This is... Just move. Just go. Don't stay there. It does not want you there. Okay, so. In all fairness, I actually don't think I was talking all that much in the first go. I, uh, or to be honest, not fairness. But to be honest, yeah, I don't think I was talking much. I was more trying to focus on just ripping through those cards. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Oh, this is a specials, special specials. Oh, the events, I mean. So we got a bunch of events. And diplomacy cards. We'll go through those separate. So events. I'll show you some of the backs. Even actually, even the first time around, I didn't go through the uh, the fronts. But I apparently did put them in upside down. So yes, you got your you get cooler in the back. Then you get one of these cards. And on the front, they look like this. There's a lot of text. A lot of stuff happening on these cards. Okay, so put those away. And there's tons of those. So many. Okay, diplomacy cards. The back of those. Drink some coffee. Get some coffee. I gotta keep me fueled. I gotta keep fueled. Okay, so these are the diplomacy cards for each character. Everybody's got their own diplomacy deck. Like, how'd you pronounce that? Is that like, my bad? Like, my bad. My bad. That's what I would... This, that's what I should be! My bad. That way, uh... Or mabbed? I'm gonna go with my bad. That, that way it sounds like my bad. That way every time I screw up, I can just say my bad. Now, I don't remember what part of the video, if it was the part I'm, I had to redo, or in the beginning where I said that I screwed up all the time and Brittany had to come save me. I think my bad might be just the card I need. So some of Sloan, a little sneak peek at some of Sloan's cards. Again, we're not going through all of them. We're just gonna do, there's fuel. Just gonna go through these quickly. Just give you a few sneak peeks. There's Dagon. Oops. Yeah. Okay, so and I can't apologize enough for for those of you who come here for the deep dive. Please forgive me. It might happen again. I was gonna say it won't happen again. It might. 
it might happen again. It wouldn't be the first time. I'm pretty sure I've had an unboxing or two where I've uh, I've done that. Or I forgot to turn on the camera, but I re-recorded everything again. This time, no. This time's too late. Too late. Things have got to get done. Okay, just separating the encounter cards. Okay, we got more combat cards here for our, our characters. So many characters in this game. I want to play with all of them, but I won't. I'll probably play with one other, the one I have. Ooh, creepy. Witch's Claw. Yeah, I like that card. Oh, there's the guy that looked like Ronin. Oh, if I remember my first pass through, there was a card that looked like he had... Yeah, that, that's it. That one stood out last time. Looks like a lightsaber. Can't want to play with him just for that card. Okay, what else we got here? Oh, okay. Azir. Yeah, Nazir kind of just like seems like the uh, the straight man of the of the group. You know, it's like when you watch uh, How I Met Your Mother. The main guy is kind of like the boring guy. Everybody else around him is interesting. That's what I'm getting from Nazir. All right, that's the vibe I'm getting. Okay, this look, looks at some more purple encounter cards. That's a cool thing. If you're gonna ride anything in the Death World, ride that thing. Neat. It's like a dragon right out of Mad Max. If there were, if there were dragons in Mad Max. Oh, creepy. Oh, ugh. He's... Sorry. Didn't mean to body shame. But just... That's a cool piece of artwork. A lot going on. Okay. And I swear they have these guys chained to desks just drawing all the time. Isn't there something in the Edge Dawnfall that looks like that? Or was that Tainted Grail the first one? I swear I've seen something like that before. So these are some. What color are these? What are we looking at? Green encounter guards, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just things are gross. Hey, but rabbits are back. Rabbits are cool. <laughs> and these are your white encounter cards. White encounter cards are where you'll find your people dressed in green. And your oh, what's it called when you ride a horse backwards? Oh, oh, that girl. And sexual position. What it was called. Damn it. I feel like all the good jokes are just leaving me. It'll come to me. If I shout something randomly in, during this video, that's that was it. It's not like a sideways Sally or something. No, it's not. What is it? What is it? I know it as soon as I hear it. Somebody in the comments, please let me know. Okay, so this is the back of some of these event cards. Looks like a some Medusa head device. Oh, okay. Let's take a look at some of the front. Uh, you get the idea in front of these. Text. So we've seen we've seen them. You've seen one, you've seen them all. Alright, so we don't have to go through those. Is it event cards? You've seen a bunch of those already. And we got more. Oh, there's also some more character cards in here. You know, sideways, sideways Sally is in a sexual position. Should be, should be. Damn it, what's it called? Like, it was actually based on the real girl who rode a horse backwards and fired a shotgun over her shoulder or something like that. I can't think of it. Okay. Okay, so not, not a lot of event cards there, just the one set.
I don't know if I've already mentioned it in this video, um, because again, filming this twice, I don't know what I recorded saying or what I just saying now for the first time, but Brittany plays the more diplomacy style character. I play the more brutish combat based character. Oh, there's that girl that has, with the, that has the dog. And her dog looks like he's got rabies. And we got some more Nazir action happening here. These cards stuck together. Yeah. These cards are like really fused together. How how that happens? Oh, I didn't go through these. I just opened these. Okay, come on. And um, there you go. Just look for new characters. Okay. Oh, you need a toothbrush and teeth. Okay, so that was those. Let's put the, that in there. And what are these? They're all separate. We had a, a donkey. Do a pack donkey. Is it called a pack mule? There you go. You saw all the donkey cards, though. That's what's important. This is a reference card for the donkey. Donkey reference. Very important. All right, you know what? Let's take a look at those minis. Let's get to that. And I'm going to use my new toy. Check it out. Da da! Look! It's a turntable thingy, which I've never used before. It's got an app. You put minis on it, and it'll spin. It does a lot of other things. That's like the simplest thing it can do, but it's cool. All right, check it out. That way I'm gonna plop them here, get a nice close angle on these guys, and then we will just watch them spin. I'm excited to watch them spin. Let's see if I can pose this here. Hold on, do I get... Oh, <laughs> I didn't turn it on. All right, just took some time to do a little adjustments. I put a little dot so I know where to put these guys. Bam, so I can see them on the camera nice and clean. Oh, this is gonna be very exciting. Oh yeah. Okay, let's try it. Oh, oh, I like it. Oh, I can just sit back and enjoy the show. Oh, he looks good. He looks good. I like it. Move a little closer. Okay. I'm gonna take a few little taps to make sure I get this right. I am digging this. Okay, who else we got? Oh, we got a pack mule. Oh yeah. I'm digging this. I can just sit back and watch the show. He looks really good. Look at the detail on that guy. Crazy. Who is she? Oh, she's one of the characters in the cards. I'm sorry. Well, most of these guys are characters in the cards. Um, but yeah, she's neat. She got a giant, I don't know, the, the harpsichord. Would she walk around with that thing? Okay. All right, now we got, bam. I'm digging this little show. I just, I like to nice sit back and just watch them turn. Very nice. Let them do one full rotation. That's huge. The weapon's ginormous. It's got a, well, it's got a bird on it. Cool. It stopped for a second. This thing's only gonna run for so long and then it's gonna stop. I don't know what rules it follows before it stops. So if it pauses, I'll just start her up again. What's going on with her? Is she casting something? Begging for change? What is she doing? What is she up to? 
What is she sitting on a bag? I don't get what's going on with her. She got a lot. She got a lot happening. Is that her dress? Wait, what's happening down in between her legs there? Is that her dress? Is she straddling a sack? I don't know. I know I said one rotation, but I was really curious what was happening with that with that one. Oh, he's like leaning back, just chilling. He's posing for a Sears photo. That's what he's doing. Whoa, dropped him. Who we got here? Oh, this is the, uh, the girl with the pet dog. He looks like one of the uh, dogs you get with uh, the Etherfield stretch goals. Less creepy, he looks more dog-like. And these look great. The Sundrop Minis are just beautiful. Oh. He's got a lot of things going on in his backpack. He's just carrying... Oh, that's that must be Nazir. He's carrying around scrolls. Because his face is all wrapped up in the uh, pictures, too. He's got a lot. Does he fight with that? He must be diplomacy, because I can't see him really fighting with all those books. Okay, that was cool. That worked. I dug that. Neat. All right, let's turn this off, open some more boxes, and then we'll bring it back out if there's more minis. There's gonna be more minis. Let me close this thing. It's cool. Oh, here go. All right, what do we got here? Let's crack that open. So you can the delicious artwork we have in here. Now, let me know what you guys thought of the spinning minis. First thing, I like it. I think it looks, it looks neat. All right, so let's get a good look at the artwork is, cover's awesome. Let's flip her open. Nice hard cover. Oh, hey, there's the guy I played. I forgot what his name was. That was him. Oh, it's just an art book. Oh, and there's the maggot guy. I see who Brittany played with, I'll let you know. Artwork in this game is, like there's so much artwork, there's so much story. It's, it's just crazy the amount of production that goes into this game. Nuts. Okay, so that was the uh, album. Very pretty, very pretty. What's in here? I don't know. I don't know. Additional stories, Echoes of the Past. Okay, it says the uh, core box is needed to play this. I like that. I like that piece. That's, uh, that's my guy. I think it's one of the, the new characters. Oh, yeah, there's the, that's who uh, Brittany played. The girl with the pet rats. I remember now. And then we have, was it a comic book? No. What is this? Book of memories, just is it stories about the characters? I'll have to investigate what that is. There's something here. What is this? This is Bior. There you go. What was her name? Oh, she was Naima. Niem. I'm not pronounce that. Well, even for everybody. So we've seen this character before. Oh, she's from the uh, core box. So we've got these sheets. I don't know what they're for, but I am. Interested to find out. I love the artwork on this though. And these are sheets you can pull out, so it's not like a book. I'm just managing not to make them fall apart. You can tear these. I 
I'm intrigued to find out what Echoes of the Past is. What do we have for her? Again, since we're not showing all the cards, we'll just continue that trend. And then if you guys want a all card all the time video, we'll do that. Okay, so well, these are all different. These are all... So the backs of them will have artwork of the characters like so. And the front of them, they look like new abilities for the characters. Oh, I played with Chris. Oh, sorry, Chris played and he played that guy who's like far a farmer. I think he can make food or something like that. Something about getting food is easier for him. Oh man, I'm, I'm gonna play Tainted Grail again. I'm gonna start from, back from the beginning, new character. And I just want to, maybe I'll play with multiple characters so I can experience more. Can you do that? Can you play with multiple characters? Is that too complicated? I don't remember if that's a thing that can be done. If you've played with multiple characters in the Tainted Grail, let me know. Blackmail. What are these about? I like the art style on these though. These are cool. What's the deal with these cards? I want to, I want to know what's going on here. This looks like something completely different. Is this like a card game? What, what am I looking at? So there's the back of the cards for each individual character. I think this is its own thing, maybe? Is there a rule book? Maybe that's what this is? <laughs> I don't know. Let's just... I'm not gonna fit it in the box now. So let's just... Uh, do this. There you go. And then... Oh! Yes! Based on where I have the counter position, this could barely fit on... Uh, in frame, but you can, you can see how it's going edge to edge. But it'll give you a better look at what's inside. And then hopefully there's minis so I can play with my new turntable. the same silky smoothness of the core box or this box but it had actually that suction fart mm, bonus points for the suction fart 5.5 open great oh oh that is heavy we got even more exploration journals holy crap like you know and the thing is here's the thing there is so much content in the first game. There's so much, there's like three books, three exploration journals now in in the second wave. And since then they've put out ether fields and now they got ISS, uh, sorry, ISS Vanguard. They're just, it's just, you guys are nuts. You guys are nuts and I love you for it. You're nuts in the greatest kind of way. Okay, so that's that. It's your book of stories. We got some, oh, some more letters. Can you see those? One-sided letters. We got more sheets. Can never have too many sheets. Nice. And I love the black presentation is great. They just, it's everything, um, Awakened Realms just seems so quality all right so let's look. again we're just gonna look at a few of these then we're gonna put the minis on the turntable and we are gonna call it a day because there's only three minis in there i don't want to see them i want to be surprised i'm gonna pull them out with my eyes closed and i'm just gonna love it it's just gonna be awesome you know i know we're not showing all the cards but i'm less tired uh because the coffee and uh not having to open a whole bunch of stuff or look at all the cards. Oh, we have a neoprene mat. Mm -hmm. Can't forget that. All right, so let's see some of these cards we got here. Oh, those are the things, you got the metal skull coin things. You put them in here and you rotate them and stuff happens. All kinds of weird, what is this for? What is happening? This expansion. 
like I'm just I'm not gonna throw go through each of them, but there's so many so much weird stuff happening here. Try not to get the glare of the lights. So I'll just give you a glance of a few of them. Now we're getting back to normal map tiles. Cool. Normal for uh, Tinted Grail, which if you look at the art, there's nothing normal. Nothing normal. Here's the back of some of them. Oh, Ewoks are involved. That's nice to know. That looks like a level right out of uh, Assassin's Creed 2, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. I think that's the one where you have to build the, fix the aqueducts. Okay. So that's more map tiles. Let's put those away. And uh, let's take those in there. And let's look at these, these bad boys. Yep, this will make editing go back faster. Okay. So purple, some purple encounters. We got more green encounters. We'll sh show you a little bit of each of those. Blue encounters, and what do we got here? And some more events. I should mix it up. Okay, so more events with more creepy art and some, you know, words. So there's your event cards. Or, yeah, your random event cards. And these are your encounter cards. Oh, that guy's messed up. A game of chess. Oh, it's got skull face. Don't play chess with skull face. There's no way skull, it's like, um, Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. Skullface is, uh, if you if you lose to Skullface, it's not gonna go well. Remember when Bill and Ted played uh, Battleship with Death? Actually, it went well for them. They sunk, they sunk his Battleship. Okay, some green encounter. Whoa. Oh, I only one know what's happening there. Is that thing going out or in? Ugh. Creepy. Creepy. And somehow less creepy. And what the hell were these? These guys don't belong in here. Look how pretty these guys are. Not creepy at all. Oh, there you go. That's more like it. Guy with festering wounds. Oh, there's our COVID doctors. More festering wound guys. Dude, he's big. And those are the girls from Mad Max. If they didn't get freed, that's what they'd end up looking like. All right, now we got these little tiny bad boys here. And come on, there you go. All right, we got some ancient items, a bunch of those, and we got ooh more secrets. Oh, and there's other stuff. What's this? No secrets. What the hell are these? Oh, these are like your um, character upgrades, I think. I don't remember what they look like. But there is an idea of some of them. Yeah, they are, because they're double-sided. You have to choose. you want to be that? Do you want to do that? Or do you want to do this? Okay. Yeah, and there's your requirements for getting it. I think it was like, was that wisdom and cunning? I can't remember. There's our secret backs. Barf. Popped one of those the other day. It was gross. The question you should be asking yourself. Was it yours? Mm hmm? And 
And now our ancient items. Yeah, we'll sneak peek at some of that. Ancient armor. I don't think like ancient weapons wouldn't be very good. They'd be all like rotted out and just not kept. Is that an ancient needle? We got a few of those in the park here in London. You don't want those ancient needles. Okay, all right. Mini time, and then I wanna get a look at this giant thing. You know what, I'm gonna look at this first. Let's look at this first, and then the mini's last. All right, this thing is large. I had to make some room, and I uh, almost knocked over the camera, that one, and uh, yeah. So, you know what? I I think this this is going to be a very useful mat. I like it. I like it. So I'm assuming this is where you place all your map cards and oh yeah. Your events go there. You know what? I'm looking forward to playing with this. I don't recall there being like a board or a mat. There must have been a board or something. No? Did you just No, I think you just played on the table. I'm looking forward to this. It's nice. It's big, but it's not ridiculously big. It's square, which is my first square mat. I'll give you that. But I, I, I like it. I like it. I like this. It'd be very nice. This is gonna be a nice mat to play on. All right, now let's check out some minis. Let's check it out. Ready? Let's start from the bottom and work our way up. Oh, look at that guy. See if I can get them centered better. Oh, he's one of the uh, festering wound guys. He looks great. Disgusting, but great. Hey, what else do we got? Oh, this one looks cool. Move the camera for him because he's a big boy. Oh, yeah, look at him. Fan freaking tastic. He is awesome. Like he's got, like, is that a claw, a claw on his shoulders? Like it's like, he, what does he kill to put that on there? Oh, so he, I just want one more rotation. He looks too good. He looks wicked, wicked. How about this? What am I looking at? Oh, let's see if I can get it more centered. Okay, so people with long arms, stabby sticks, and robes. I don't want this guy sitting here at all. There you go. It looks, it's creepy. It's creepy, I don't even know what's happening. Oh, I gotta take this guy off for a second to, to figure out, oops, I hit the camera. What is happening with this guy? Okay, all right, all right, well, all right then. That was it, let me stop that. Let's uh, turn off this, our little machine here, our new little toy. Let me know if you like the spinny wheel, the spinny, spinny table. I enjoy using it, so I hope you like it. It's cool. All right, so that was it for our unboxing of Tainted Grail Wave 2. I hope you're not too disappointed with the fact that you had to just per skim over the cards. Uh, maybe you like it better this way. Either way, let me know. Do you like the spinny table? Do you like me just s skimming through the cards and just focusing on the minis? Let me know in the video. Or um, do you want me to go through all the cards? If you do, then you know what? I'll go back and do all the cards. If there's enough of you. There's so like three of you. No, not the saying that you don't matter. But it's, it's just a lot of work. Okay. That is it. I will see you next week. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. See ya. Thanks for joining us. If you like this video and you want to see more, subscribe to our channel. It's the best way to keep up to date with everything we do here at Board Game Coffee. But if you want to see more right now, we got plenty of videos to choose from. And if that's not enough, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I'm Mark Maya, and this is Board Game Coffee. And remember, have fun, keep gaming, be social. See you next week.